Yo, what's good, everybody? And welcome back to the Pokemon Black 2 Gym Leader Lock. How you doing? How are the kids? I'm Q, the Costa Rican, and today it is a beautiful Monday morning. The Bears just came off a of victory. That's why I'm wearing the jersey. Shout out to Tariq Cohen, even though I don't really think he did much in that game. I think he got like a first down, maybe. I really don't remember. But, bro, it's a great game. But right now, we're going to get into a, a real game i.e. the Pokemon Black 2 Gym Leader Lock. Kit Kat is as excited as I am. Let's look at the team to see what we're working with. We still have Hat. I forgot about Hat. The new addition. The Swablu, soon to be a Dragon Flying type. Cannot use it until it evolves. I don't know when it evolves. Didn't look it up. Did not look it up. I hope it's not with Friendship. That would actually suck. But today, don't know what we're going to move on to in terms of uh, progressing in the game. All I know is that I'm in this city and i vaguely remember um i vaguely remember putting on my dowsing machine hello can i turn it on please please and the back now i vaguely remember uh going this we already did the gym in this area right this is uh this is the elisa gym right right i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure i know nothing about gen 5 if you're new to the channel subscribe oh i remember now we gotta go in here wait there's an item we can't get it yet. We gotta go in here. He wants to battle me. That's right. He wants to battle me. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me look at my Mons. Who's up front? Mystery's up front. Let's put Goki up front. Just because my man has a choice ban. And he sets the sun. And he's a he's a Russia Ram. And he's Goki. So, yeah. This man's name is Rude. Or Rud? Probably Rude. Like Hood. It's probably like Hood, though. Rud? We're gonna call him Rud. If you're going to come inside, I would like to see what kind of person you are, trainer. That's right, in a Pokemon battle, do you find this acceptable? Let us begin. Alright, alright, guess this in the comment section down below. What kind of gym leader is rude? I'm gonna say electric. Swampert. Because it was either water or ground. I was way off. This is the exact opposite of electric, if I've ever seen an opposite of electric. But, uh, yeah, man, like I said in the intro, bro, it is Monday. It, like, we just, we just, we just got done... With all the Super Bowl, no, not the Super Bowl, with all the football shenanigans, minus the Monday night games, but who watches those, if we're being honest? I'm dropping a Draco. We land the Draco. Um, and yeah, man, the Bears game was insane. Oh my god, me and my sister were literally on the edge of the couch, watching that go that game the whole way through. And, oh my god, there was nothing going on for our team, positively, the whole first three quarters. We got like six points in the first three quarters. And then, like, we're just sitting there... We're down, what is it, 20, what, well, we were down 26 to 3? No, 23 to 6. Yeah, Lions at 23, we at 6. And I, I'm, and like, like, Brianna's all, you know, devastated, I'm devastated. We both missed our attacks, thank God. Uh, I risk it again, I don't care. Um, anyways. Oh God, no, I should not have risked this. Mud Bomb? Oh my God, okay, you know what? I'm risking it a third time. I know the game's giving me chances to not lose Goki right now, but I don't care. We're dropping Dracos. I'm talking about the Chicago football bears. Now, um, in the first three quarters, we literally scored six points, bro. It was like the end of the third. The Lions just scored, and they got to 23. And I'm looking at Brianna. I'm like, Brianna, it's okay. All we need to do is score three touchdowns. That's it. Just three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. That's happened before. And she's all like, she's like, how often has it happened before? And I'm like, it hasn't happened that often, but it's happened before. That's all you need to know. Um... And what do you know, guys? It freaking happened. We were, man, we were so excited. It was so fun because it was literally just us two. None, she didn't have any of the kids. My mom was at work. My dad wasn't in town. And it was just us chilling. I, I ordered Domino's. We got some Domino's. I had a good time. And just watched the Bears game. It was a good time. It was a really good time. And uh, it, was a really good, it was a really good season over, honestly. And now I can't wait for week two. Uh, why did that do so much damage? Hold up. Something ain't right. Did this man click sword stance when I wasn't looking? I have no potions? Hold on. What did he just click? He clicked acrobatics, right? Yeah, he did. Okay, so that goes from 101 to 65. The last one was a high roll. I mean, I guess I just go for it and click bubble beam, right? But either way, it's a good game, man. First three quarters, they really had us. It was pretty stagnant on our side. The lines are moving forward a lot. Uh, we weren't, we were getting stopped in the red zone. Um, I think I'd just go for another bubble beam. I always had speed, right? We were getting stopped in the red zone all the time. We even went for it on like fourth and seven from our own like 45. Just because they were in like that weird buffer zone where like it's too short to punt but too long to kick. 
Uh, so like, let's just go for it. And they just went for it and they didn't get it. Like we literally didn't convert our first like 10 third down conversions. And we didn't convert a single one. Um, and then we just came alive in the fourth quarter, man. Mr. Brisky put on his big boy pants and, uh, you know, moved his thing to the side and was all like, let's get the game going, boys. And they scored three touchdowns. And so, like, I, in my prediction video, I was wrong on the final score, but I was right that Trubisky got three of them things. And it was really nice. Being former members of Team Plaisma, we must deal with a lot. Oh, snap, JV's here. He got away! That's not his voice. And that is... Ah, uh, your friend. He may join us. Okay. JV's part of the gang. I like it. What's going on? I forgot what's going on here today. Did we get a Zoira? Let me introduce myself again. My name is Hove. H to the OV. You guys are all Team Plasma too, right? Tell me, what makes you different from the Team Plasma back there? I don't remember Rude's voice. <laughs> More accurately, we're former members of Team Plasma. Because of the incident two years ago, we started taking care of the Pokemon that were separated from the Tornadoes as a way to atone for our misdeeds. And you are? I'm JV from His Precious City. Five years ago, Team Plasma, I mean you, stole my little sister's Pokemon. I'm the pathetic trainer who wasn't able to stop you. Separated? What a joke. You were the thieves who stole them. Bro, JV, calm down. He's trying to atone for his misdeeds. People change, okay? But that doesn't mean you have to accept them changing. If you don't want to accept them changing, by all means, you can move on. No one's telling you to stay. You don't have to, you don't have to be nice to somebody simply because they're changing now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's just a little food for thought. Um, is that so? My sincerest apologies. Just an apology? That's it? Where's my sister's Pokemon? Perlorn, where is Pearl? Has it really been years? The Pokemon you speak of is not in this place. I imagine it's still being used by Team Plasma now. Just as you say, our apologizing doesn't solve anything. But you can't move forward unless you admit you were wrong and apologize. <laughs> Why are there such good messages in today's episode? Enough already. Apologizing is going to get my sister's Pokemon back. Q, I'm going to the Pokemon gym. I'll get stronger and crush every single member of Team Plasma. I don't know what's going on here today. I'm going to be honest with you. Team Plasma made trainers like him suffer. I'm done reading dialogue. Could you please look after the Pokemon Zora? Sure. Is it going to be randomized? Give me a Dragonite. Probably not going to be randomized. I hope it is, though. That Zora is one of the Pokemon that might... So... It's not randomized. Is its ability randomized? Its ability is randomized and it's literally trash. Got it. Got it. And he's a hasty nature. Down in defense, up in speed. Weird. Weird. That, that's going to the box with you, Zora. Uh, anybody else have anything to say, sir? Nope. Okay. Ma'am? Nope. Okay. Galvantula? <gasps> Who are you guys? Kit Kat? I know, bro. I know. It's crazy out here. No, 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 no. Reading dialogue without reading it. I'm reading it in my head. Okay, that's what's going on. N was an orphan. And that's all we need to know. Something about Darmanitan. Man had a Darmanitan. When he was living in the woods with Darmanitan and Zora, guess this took him in. Okay, I don't care anymore, bro. We don't need to know your backstory by all means. Like, have we even met N yet in this game? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Okay, so now we've done that, right? That's been done. Have we done the gym in this area? Is this not... The, at least this isn't the... Oh, this is the... Oh, what's his name? Clay. Bro, the best the best dang character in all of... Uh, where are we? Unova? Unova. Alright, so I'm going to go deposit the Zora because I just don't want to accidentally use it. You know what I mean? Like, Amon whirlwinds me out and then all of a sudden, boom, Zora. It's not a dragon type. We're not going to use it. We could teach a Draco Meteor. And it could be an honorary dragon type, but nah. That's reserved just for Hoot Hoot. That is specifically... Only a hoot hoot thing. We're gonna put, uh, what do we put? Mons that. I guess we'll put it you in eight. We'll put you in eight. We haven't had an actual death in this series yet, knock on wood. So that's pretty cool. <gasps> I wanna lift you up, sir. And into the box you go. Alright, I guess we're good here then. And yeah, let's see if we can get our freaking, um, can I get out of here, please? Uh, no. Is there, is, yeah, I really wanna know when. Ah, oh, crap, dude. I keep pressing the wrong button. Get me out of here. I want to know when freaking Swablu evolves, dude. Like, I know I could just look it up, and I've had, like, three days to look it up, and I could have just done it. And I could look it up now. But I don't want to. I kind of want to be surprised, but as I say that, I'm grabbing my phone, and I'm looking it up. Swablu evolve. And this chick is done. It evolves into Altaria, starting 
at the level 35. Okay, cool. Nice. <laughs> now we know. And knowing is half the battle, boys and girls. And whoever on whatever else you identify as. Okay, we already healed up. We already healed up. I need to buy way more potions. Because one of the rules of the gym leader lock is once you enter the gym leader lock, the, the gymnasium, you cannot leave until you beat the gym leader. So let's get like, well, we got 15 hyper potions. Never mind. We're fine. Uh, dude, can we buy full heals yet? We cannot. Let's just buy 11 more super repels. Bro, why do we have so much money? When did we get all this monty? You know, let me just, you know what? F screw it. Like, why wouldn't I just buy 22 hyper potions? Why wouldn't I, you know? Now we can just spam for days. We can just exhaust every PP that is in the game. And we don't even need to, We, you know? We don't even need to, you know? We don't even need to, you know? But yeah, man, first week of football is in the books, and it was really fun. I got some, some of my predictions were really, not, were really, uh, really spot on, actually. Um, the Ravens did beat the Browns by 32. I just got the points wrong. I predicted 35 to 3, uh, but the, the actual score was, I think, 36, 38 to 6. Yeah, 38 to 6. Um, so we're in Rourke's gym. It doesn't look like he's a here. Did, did JV tell us that, and we just did, we just completely ignored him and didn't talk to him and, and do any dialogue whatsoever? Challenge the gym, huh? Nice, keep getting stronger. Let me tell you, though, Clay's tough, even if you have to use... Okay, maybe he is in here. Never mind. So, we don't know if he's a ground type. I was just about to say, let me just lead mystery. We actually don't even know if he's actually ground type anymore. So, but we're going to find out, though. He's normally a ground type gym leader. But, maybe today he won't be. Maybe today he'll ironically be like water or something. What does this man want to say? Welcome to the drift field. Okay, thanks for the fresh water, brother. Speaking of water, always stay hydrated. Looks like we're going to take on a gym leader today. His name is Clay. Gym leader today. His name is Clay. Bro, Clay is low-key like one of the best gym leaders ever created, if we're being honest. Like high-key, actually. High-key. One of the best gym leaders ever created. I remember the last time I, I think, I remember the last time uh, I did this gym leader lock with the psychic type gym leader. Am I recording? Okay, I am. Uh, I remember, ooh, I'm a champ. It's a fighting type gym. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. I don't remember what I was going to say. My memory is terrible. All right, it's a fighting type gym. We have our sunny day Goki drought. Drought Goki. Uh, we are level 27. We are severely under leveled. I'm clicking Flyer Fang. Flyer Fang? Can you please burn? Okay, or just crit. I'll take that too. I'll take that too. I mean, come on. He's going to crit for you, boy. I mean, by all means, brother. We're really level 27. How are we actually the same level as Hat? How is Goki the Russia Ram actually the same level as Hat? I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him in the front though, because I want him to get the levels. Um, and then like whatever happens, happens, man. Like if you know what I mean. Like if we if we lose, then hey, that's the way it is. But we're not gonna. We're not gonna. Goki's he's a well trained Russia Ram, if I know correctly. He likes uh he likes the thrills of things. Bro, fighting types are actually scary. I guess the good news is there can't be any. The Swords of Justice. Holy crap, never mind. I was about to say, there can't be any legendaries, but the Swords of Justice are all fighting type, right? Fighting grass, fighting rock, fighting water. Fighting steel. <gasps> I'm scared. What else? Can, what's, there's no other fighting type legendaries that I'm not thinking of, right? I feel like there should be. There should be a lot more. I, like, I know, like, from Gen 5 before and before, there's, that's, it's just those guys. And then, like, fighting for Meloetta, right? That's a thing, right? When it's, uh... <gasps> Bro, doesn't... Sock usually gets Mold Breaker. <laughs> Doesn't it? I feel like it does. This should knock you out, bro. I'm choice banded. It's in the sun, brother. <gasps> We're breaking my weakness. Yo, why that do so much damage, bro? Because I'm level 27. It's because I'm level 20 freaking 7. Also, fun fact of the day, I'm wearing these headphones for almost no reason. Can you guess what I'm plugged into? Hold on. I'll wait for it. Hit them on the chin. Hold on. I'll wait. I'll wait. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, if you guess nothing, you were correct because I am literally plugged into nothing. And I don't know why I'm wearing them on my head. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm doing it. We're doing it together. And you guys witness me. You guys witness me do it. I'm a very transparent person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have almost nothing to hide. Almost nothing to hide. Almost nothing to hide. Everyone has their little secrets. If I had to think of, like, a secret that I wouldn't want out, I can't really think of one, to be honest. Like, I gotta really do anything shameful. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh... Can we go? Can we go this way already? Is this? Does this lead me to what's his face? This does lead to what's his face, doesn't it? Yeah, right. This leads straight to what's his face. It has to. 
That's not Clay. You're not Clay. Here in the darkness. I should have healed up. Um. Oh, there's one thing. Not about me, but about someone I know. I guess that maybe I maybe I wouldn't want that game out. I suppose, but that's all for speculation now, boys. But yeah, I'm a very transparent person. I just you know I just like to be real. I like to be me. You know what I'm saying? I just like to be real. A real me. I don't like to like why why fake something. You know what I mean? Like why fake something you're not? Like in my experience, I moved a lot when I was a kid. Like I know like it's a weird transition, right? I moved a around a lot when I was a kid. Um. And in doing so, I had the opportunity to, like, change my image every time I went to a new school. Um, and sometimes I changed it drastically. Other times I, I just was the same guy. Um, but that, that was back when I cared about what people thought about me. Now I don't care what people think about me, bro. Like, if you don't like me, that's kind of your problem. I don't care. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, yeah, so, like, in my experience, just, like, trying to be something you're not. You just get lost in the sauce, and you're like, you're like, wait a minute, am I? Do I like this? Do I like that? Like, just, just, bro, just like what you like and do what you do, and as long as you're not hurting nobody, like, you're fine, bro. Like, you're honestly fine. And why is today? Why is today's episode full of a bunch of life lessons? That's not what we, that's not what we do over here on this channel. All right, we have fun and we play Pokemon. I guess you could learn a few life lessons on this channel if you really wanted to, bro. Can I? Okay, does this lead me to to, to Clay? Cash is Clay, <gasps> maybe. Cause now I'm I'm insane. I am just all but lost. I'm actually lost in this in this mice, if you will. But yeah, man. I moved around a lot when I was younger, um, and I feel like that helped me in terms of like, I guess developing my character, right? Cause I like when you like when you're growing up, <laughs> right? And you're in those years where like you don't know who you are as a human being, and you're all like trying to find yourself, right? And when you experience a lot of different people be the way I did because you know I moved from Illinois I moved all around Illinois and then moved to Wisconsin then moved back to Illinois then moved to Florida then moved back to Wisconsin so like like I, I met a lot of different kinds of people you know what I mean like like uh in Wisconsin it's like predominantly you know Caucasian people right uh but then when I went back down to Florida is so many freaking like a melting pot of just like uh I'm trying to think of I every central american country literally every central american country and like it's just it's just crazy and like so many people are speaking spanish and i'm like oh my god i wish i spoke spanish ah uh, ah uh, i feel ashamed of myself for not being able to speak spanish and then um and then in illinois you know predominantly black communities and then like in um certain parts of illinois there's also predominantly white communities but the parts i lived in were predominantly black and um in wisconsin there was like like i said predominantly caucasian we found clay so like i feel like like those experiences and meeting all those different kinds of people like i guess helped me form like how i talk how i act what i like what i like what i do you know what i mean it's just i don't know it's just it's like the people you meet definitely influence who you become and i've had some very good positive influences in my adolescence if i do say so myself uh shout out to the homie uh never mind <laughs> i'm looking for my freaking uh, hyper potions but i got a super potion i guess i can use since i don't need to everyone's healed up never mind we'll just do this sure if we live on six, it'll be all worth it, right? All right, let's do a nice little southern accent for Clay here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my best southern drawl. Okay, you ready? <clears throat> I'm gonna drink my tea real quick. All right. Huh? Kept me waiting, did you, kid? All right, Tom. We'll see what you can do. Is that literally all the dialogue? I took a sip for that. What's his name? Scott. What's his title? What's his title? Fan Scott sent out Mienfu. Bro, Mienfu is a proud member of the Miami Mimikyu's coached by the Phantom Michael. So, we know this thing gets fake out. We know he's level 31. We also know that we are three levels below, but we're in the sun, and we have a choice band. And we have one choice, and that's to click Fire Fang with our choice banded Reshiram in the sun. He's three levels below, but he does not care. Shout out to Goku Gamer. Another Scraggy. Not another Scraggy. A Scraggy is the next Pokemon. Bro, you're getting Fire Fang. I don't see you living this. Imagine he's still dry skin. And then he just gets... Look at him. He just, he's like, ah! That was so funny. Uh, and then a Toxic Croak. Now, this thing could also have dry skin, I think. Now, he's level 33. No hard feelings, but I'm extremely southern. Stubborn. I said southern. I'm ex no hard feelings, but I'm extremely southern. All right, so Toxic Croak. 
five levels above. I'm still Choice Banded Fire Fang. Are we just gonna get the clean sweep with the Goki and not have to worry about that? That did nothing. <gasps> Mud Ball. That did damage. Impressive. That's some strength you got there. All right, we're gonna get the old swapity swap swap out into Mystery Weesnaw. And knock this Toxic Croak's muffin back. Muffin, muffin. Knock this Toxic Croak's muffin back. Blue. What'd he just use? Was that revenge? What the hell was that? Is it safe to drop a Draco? I'm gonna heal up. I don't know what he just used. I genuinely don't know what just happened. I'm actually concerned for my health and my well being and Mystery's well being as well. What did you use? Swagger. No one on a corner got a swagger like Toxicroaks. Okay, you raised my attack, but I am confused. But guess what? I'm a well-trained Kingdra. Who doesn't take nothing from no man? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to land this Drake. I'm going to break through paralysis. Then I'm going to land this Draco. And then I'm going to get my gym badge. Okay, I'm a liar. Kingdra, you really just... Why did that do so much? I know I'm I got plus one swaggered, but like why did that do so much? My defense that must be doo doo butterscotch. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It failed. Alright, now we're gonna do it. We're gonna land the Draco, Kingdra. We're gonna break through paralysis. We're gonna land the Draco. We're gonna meet the Hasselhoff. I'm so fed up with my own mystery. What is going on, bro? Goki was performing to the highest degree. The pinnacle of weapons technology was once a bow and arrow. And Mystery is over here just hitting herself in the god dang face with god who knows what. Honestly. Arsis, help me. Help me, Arsis. I need you. You know what? Here's, here it is. I can see what happened. We have to scare the Kingdra. Kingdra knows that his, his one counter is an Aveltal. Shout out to the INT. No. Shout out to the DTC finals. So now, now that this Eveltal is on my head, Kingja will break through confusion and land the Draco, or else I'm literally quitting. The series is over if she if she hits herself. If y'all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave. I'm just kidding, bro. I cannot believe Eveltal couldn't scare this Kingja straight. Eveltal, come back. I didn't mean it, bro. I just like looked to see what this was plugged into, then I remembered it's not plugged into anything, and I was like, oh, I don't want to drag something away. And we dodge the mud bam. He used sucker punch like five times, didn't he? Can I just win? Can I can I please just win, Kingdra? Thank you! Thank you. Now land the Draco. Let's go, Kingdra. Let is that enough? Stab. Draco boosted. Toxic croaks down. Evelta is such a good boy. Look at my Larry Hoover. How you doing, how the kids? Now, what we need to know is, why the hell did Kingdra hit itself, like, literally seven times? It was actually only three times. Man, oh man, it feels good to be all Top Hat Jones, Doug Dimmadome, owner of the Dib Del Dimmadome. Whew, you're really something, ain't you? A little whippersnapper trainers who pack a real punch keep showing up one after another. Hmm, take this. <laughs> take this. I need to calm down. It's really early in the morning. I don't know where I'm getting this energy from. All I drank was tea. I ate half a sandwich. I ate a whole sandwich. I don't know why I said half a sandwich. We got the Quake badge. So this is your fifth badge, huh? If that's show, Pokemon will be low. Shit, you won't bite you. Here, take a this, too. We got Hone Claws, bro. Where's my Durant? What's this thing? What's he gonna say? What's he gonna say? Well, I suppose, come this away. Oh, where we going, brother? <gasps> the secret lift to outdoors. To parts unknown. My nose itches. Good dancers are crucial for, for putting on a good show. Okay, thanks for the solid advice. Good dancers are crucial for putting on a good show. Remember, kids, if you if you haven't if you've taken anything away from this video, it's that I forgot what he already said. You got your badge too? I knew you could do it. You know, my partners are the reason I was able to get that badge. But I'm sure there's more connecting us to each other than the Pokeballs. If that's all there is, the Solar Portland's feelings will never be what they were. Huh. Okay. 
Oh, so you two squares know each other, huh? You both ain't bad, so I want to show you something. A little something, something. What? I just remembered. Clay, why? What's the reason? Why have you forgiven Team Plasma? <laughs> JV, calm down, okay? There's always room for folks to grow and change, ain't there? See, that brings us back to... <sighs> brings us back to our first message. And if you only go after what you think is right, you might end up rejecting all thoughts and opinions other than your own. That's mighty dangerous. Huh, is that one of those compromises adults are supposed to make? Whatever, I'm gonna fight Team Plasma. Oh yeah, who are you wanting to show us? You ever heard of the Pokemon Whirl Tournament, brother? Trainers from all over the world gather on up to see who's toughest. Well then, I'll be waiting for you at the south end of town, brothers. Bro, honestly, Clay is my dad. A tournament to decide who's strongest, huh? Right on, it's time for some special training. He's really not. My dad is 1,000% Costa Rican. Um, and he's got his own little accent of his own. He's got his own little accent of his own. He's got his own accent. And I don't know where we go from here, but I know that I can heal up. That much I know. That much I can control. I am in control of that much. I can, I can, I can heal. And I guess we'll end the episode off, right? We're like... What are we, 20-ish minutes into... Yeah, I think we should end it off here, man. We're gonna end it off exactly where we began. But, we got a badge. We got a badge. Um, I may do some off-screen grinding. I'm gonna look up, like, some levels uh, of where I'm supposed to go next. And the levels of what I have. And, actually, you know what? I probably don't need to do off-screen grinding. Like, Mystery can carry. And these guys are uh, sub-30. <laughs> so, I actually don't need to. I don't need to. I don't need to grind. I don't need to grind anymore. But... <clears throat> If you all like it, you saw what you like. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed episode, what is this, 11? Let me know in the comment section down below. But with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Peace.